want to introduce you to a dado blade and making dado cuts. A dado is a flat bottomed groove in a piece of wood. It can either be done in a cross cut configuration uh, using a miter uh, like this, or it can be done in a rip configuration where you go through and, and plow the dado along the length of the wood. In either case, you use a dado stack or dado blade. And I want to talk to you about that, what it is. A normal saw blade uh, for a table saw looks like this. It's just a disc and it has a whole bunch of teeth on it and it's one thin disc. What we do to make dado cuts, uh, we have to get width. So we use basically two of those blades, one on each side, and then in, in the middle, we use chipper blades. And here, I'll pull one out and show you what they look like. Here is a chipper blade, and it has simply a carbide tip blade in four places. That gets sandwiched in between the two outer blades. In this case, we have three chipper blades and two outer blades. Now the idea is this blade of course spins and these, uh, these particular surfaces, carbide tip surfaces, chip out pieces of wood and they give you this flat bottom dado. Normally we have a table saw insert that looks like this where you have a kerf that's the width of that single blade. When you switch to a dado blade, you have to change it out so that the width of the kerf here matches or is wider than, greater than or equal to the width of the dado blade. So we can then put that back in. Uh, we can raise uh, and lower so we get a different depth of dado, like so. And uh, we can, additionally, I have made a, uh, a frame that goes over my fence, a sacrificial frame. And what I mean by that is that I can br actually bring it over, over top of that blade and narrow its width. If I want to put a rabbit on the edge of, a wo of wood, on the edge of a piece of wood, you, it's called a rabbit, not a dado and its width can be varied by moving this fence. So we push the wood through either in a rip configuration or in a crosscut configuration, and we end up with a dado in the wood. So just to wrap this up, let's make a dado cut to show you how the saw works in action and to show you what the resulting dado looks like. So all I'm gonna do is crosscut a dado in the bottom surface of this piece of wood. And I have set it up such that the blade comes up about 3 eighths of an inch. Uh, and that'll be then the depth of our cut. I move that over and I'm gonna start the saw now, which will make some noise. And there's the dado, flat bottomed, perpendicular sides.